what's good what's good what's good lovely soul empress here coming to do a quick check-in with you guys i just wanted to let you guys know about some upcoming changes to the channel okay so first off um as most uh channels are seeing taurus is the number one astrological um sign watching tarot on youtube and I spend a lot of time doing the other signs and doing their um, extended, okay? And I feel like I could be giving um, Taurus more um, information and also doing more specific soul work and soul journey type readings. For those of you familiar with me, I deal heavily in manifestation and manifestation coaching, okay? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be focusing the um, tarot readings on Taurus. Uh, there will be some other readings that come out for other signs as those signs grow, okay? But what I'm going to continue to do is I'm going to do um, element checks, okay? So it'll be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, and... Yeah, that's that's them. I feel like I forgot somebody, but you get the point. All right. So we're going to be going by the elements. OK, uh, I will have extended for those on Patreon. I will continue to do the daily and weekly energies on Patreon. I am also going to be adding a night to the Patreon where my Patreon people will get to come in and ask a free question like what's good Wednesdays but for Patreon okay and they don't pay for that okay so it'll be one question a month uh in addition to all the other things that they get over there okay I also want to make you guys aware as of January 1st the prices on my private readings are going up okay um if you've ever had a reading from me, you know that it hardly ever ends on the hour mark, okay? If you're a client of mine, I spoil you. That's facts, okay? So, um, get in where you fit in, because come January 1st, those prices are changing, okay? Also, come January 1st, the What's Good Wednesdays will be $15 a question, okay? So I just wanted to give you guys an update because we're going to be focusing a lot on ancestor readings, uh, soul journey readings, um, uh, daily energies, um, you know, for whoever needs this type readings, okay? So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. There's a lot of changes. It's going to be quite fun. Um, and I hope that you will uh, join me. Okay, so um, yeah, I just like to say thank you for spending a couple t uh, minutes with me. And um, let's get into 2022. I think it's going to be an exciting year. See you later, gang, gang. What's good? What's good? What's good? Lovely Soul Empress here coming to do Taurus's December reading. Gang, gang, it flew by so fast. Okay, so um. You didn't get a lot of cards out, okay? You got the sun in reverse with the eight of cups crossed. I feel like somebody tried to walk away and realize that it didn't make them happy, okay? You got the prince of pentacles. Somebody is uh, trying to make an offer or considering making an offer. I feel like this offer is something tangible. You got the emperor and the eight of swords, okay? This person could be waiting for your response, on something or you could be the the emperor and you could be stuck in your head about something about an offer that's being made to you okay so we're gonna get right into it we're gonna pull a celtic spread and we're gonna see what's going on um i didn't pull you guys's oracles let me do that real quick and see what comes out I know that there is a solar eclipse that is happening on the new moon of December. I'm not sure of the date of that. Let me just check real quick, guys. I like to give you guys good info. And 
and that is December 4th, okay? So um, that's a solar eclipse that's happening in your sign, okay? You're gonna feel that energy because the North Node has shifted, okay? So it's happening, um, that energy is gonna be heavily affecting you, okay? Anything else, Spirit? Let me get this other deck and then we're going to go into it. We got ask and receive out here. And I feel like this is a combination of some manifestation that you have been putting out probably since the middle of last year, if not January of this year. Okay, so I feel like things are coming into play right now. You got take charge and action, okay? I feel like you are stepping into energy. It, um, sorry. I feel like you're stepping into the energy of the emperor and I feel heavily Aries energy. This is what I was trying to say, but I'm channeling too fast. Okay, you got eye of the needle, intentionality, okay? And I feel like you have moved with precision. They're saying precision, that's card number 17. That reduces to the eight infinity symbol. I'm really feeling heavily the energy of um, intentions that were set around the lion's gate. That's also more fire energy. Okay, you got the crossings, initiations, okay, there is completions, completions and new beginnings happening all at once. You got the caterpillar opportunity, okay, you could have felt like it was going at a slow crawl, but as you see, this isn't the regular caterpillar, this is the cat and the caterpillar put together. That's transformative. That is scorpionic energy. I am recording this in Scorpio season. I feel like you're creating a new foundation. This is the number four. This is going to be a very stable foundation. I feel like you have moved with intentionality that has been guided by spirit. Okay, the card says opportunity. Okay, I feel... Uh, you know, heavily that this is something that you are prepared for. Um, I'm also hearing opportunity knocks. Okay, now you got um, Joyful Muse Inspiration, number 33, reduces to a six. That's the number of victory. Joyful Muse. I'm feeling you feeling very much in your... in your energy um i'm also feeling someone seeing you as the muse i feel like you do have the phoenix rising energy happening okay i'm feeling a very warm energy even though we're talking about the month of december leo heavy all right so let's get into your uh, celtic spread spirit can you show me What's the situation for my Taurus gang gang for the month of December? And can you show me what is the blockage in the month of December, Spirit? What's the blockage? Oh. Okay. And show me what the foundation is, please, Spirit. And what is the energy that's falling away? What's the energy that's falling away, please, Spirit? And what is the energy of what's crowning? And what is the energy of what's coming in? And what is the, how does, Taurus see themselves. And what is the energy that, uh, how do others see Taurus?
what is in uh, Taurus's hopes and fears? And the most likely outcome. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. Under that is the Empress, and I'm hearing, we have something in common. I think that's a, a song from a show, but I'm not sure, okay? It's just playing in my head right now. Okay, so um, first off, you have the Nine of Cups as to the situation, and this is talking about wish fulfillment. Um, I feel like there's some feeling of you feeling abundant, maybe not only in your finances, it could be that, but I feel like the energy of uh, happiness and that um, joyful muse. Three of Pentacles, you may be getting into a collaboration or you could be working on a project or something that you really love with someone else or someone has come in to assist you. Seven of Cups, there could be some illusions to this or maybe you needed guidance, but the Empress is here. Doubtful that you needed guidance. Maybe you were confused about the path you should take, but the Wheel of Fortune came in, all right? And I feel like it's been a powerful illumination with that Page of Swords. Great. Can I get one more? And this is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, you could have been working at something slowly. Okay, maybe somebody came in who maybe was a little more organized than you or which is hard to imagine. But maybe they helped you with some type of planning of something. But either which way, this Knight of Pentacles couldn't be you. This could be you working slowly at something and it's coming into collaboration, something that's really important to you. Okay, now in the cross energy, you have the High Priestess. No, that came out like that. Yeah. The lovers came out crossed in the... Um, in the blockage, okay? So this has to do with the choice. Spirit, why is this lovers here? With the Ten of Pentacles. And the Death card, okay? So a Scorpionic energy, again, that is your opposite sign. You do transform many times in the year, especially around this season. You have this lovers here. There's some type of choice about building some type of legacy, some type of generational wealth. I feel like you're building this anyway. I feel like you might be wondering if you're going to build with a particular person or not, or you could be deciding that, or they could be deciding that, or you could be deciding that together. But there's something about the decision, and that is that, uh, what was it? Uh, the thread in the needle card intentionality right what was it the eye of the needle intentionality it feels like there's a lot on, on the line okay with the nine of pentacles this is about doing it with somebody or doing it without them independence it's about that collaboration and the ace of wands and you might feel that it's quite passionate with nine of cups and it really does um make you feel good but with the four of pentacles here you may be afraid to uh, give in to this because the, um, the King of Pentacles is here with the Seven of Swords, okay? So you might be feeling like something's too good to be true or somebody could be telling you that they've changed into the King of Pentacles and maybe they deceived you before and you're unsure. There could have been a Queen of Wands or you could be showing up as the Queen of Wands right now. Fiery, you are your own muse at the moment with the sun behind that, okay? The Ten of Swords is under that. So I feel like there's a decision before you and you're unsure if you're gonna take this decision. I feel like you know that whatever decision you make is like a permanent one and it's gonna change the situation and outcome, not just for you, for others. Some people may feel betrayed by the path that you've choose, but it's something that you feel called to do. Okay, so you have the Queen of Cups here at the um, 
at the foundation of a situation with the high priestess okay spirit why is this queen of cups here with the page of cups in reverse okay so there could have been an offer that you were waiting for that didn't materialize somebody that you wanted the offer from spirit can i get one more can i get one more please With the Four of Swords, you could be healing from this. You could also be silent about this. Okay, the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Now, there also could have been a Queen of Cups that caused you not to get a love offer for the feminines here. But I feel more like it was an offer that you wanted someone to make. And I feel like it didn't come with that page of um, Cups in reverse. This could even be an apology that you didn't get. Four of Swords, you had to heal yourself. But the Hierophant is here, the Seven of Wands. I feel like, you know, with the Seven of Wands, you, um, it says Perseverance Gardens. It's as if you knew something was going to happen, Six of Cups. Maybe you thought a reconciliation would happen. Or your intuition was telling you to resist a reconciliation. But you got the five of cups here. It's the energy that's falling away. Okay, so whoever was crying over spilled milk, that season is, is starting to come to a close. Okay, the ten of swords. Releasing some type of betrayal with the five of cups and the ace of swords. Some type of clarity coming in about that situation. Okay, I feel like this is, uh, you know, you purging all the betrayals two of wands yeah you're making a decision with the four of wands i feel like somebody's trying to come back into you with the two of swords it feels like they want to come back in knight of cups give you a love offer but they're mentally blocked right now with this eight of swords and the 12 I mean, and the hangman, okay, because they think you're going to resist them, but they want to give to you equally, the goes the king of cups, okay? Um, so crowning you, you have the queen of pentacles crossed. I feel like you are fully aware that you're the queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like she's the quintessential spouse. She's also very abundant, okay? Um, she's independent and she usually is a business owner of some sort. And I feel like, um, what you're questioning here is whether you want to be, cause she's also considered the quintessential spouse. So it's like, like I said before, it's like you trying to decide between whether you're going to do this alone or, um, or with someone else. And you have the son here. And I feel like you know, just like the card said, joyful muse, you are the muse. You will do it anyway. I'll do it by myself, but I'm a boss when we're together. But maybe you, you make things better. Was that Neo? I'm good all by myself, but I'm a boss when we're together. Right? So it's like, you know that you could build with this person, but you're unsure if you should. Nine of Swords in reverse is the energy that's coming in. So um, the Nine of Swords in reverse is being clarified by the Six of Swords. Okay, so you're leaving the anxieties and the worries behind your intuitions telling you you know with this three of swords coming in here 
I feel like you're releasing it. You're releasing it and you're moving away from it. You could be physically moving. And then you show up as the Queen of Wands, which again is like that feisty, you know, um, Phoenix rising. Sagittarian energy. We're in Sagittarius season. Okay? Or at least we will be at the time of this reading. And it feels like things are aligning with the Temperance card. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like your money's coming in. Your love life is improving. Ten of Cups. But you know that somebody didn't get what they want with the Five of Cups. Okay? It's like not the whole... It's not a, a cake and eat it too type situation. Three of Wands. But you're hopeful for the future. There's something that you don't see. on a feels like it feels like either you discover why something couldn't come into commitment because there was a third party and it's like an acceptance of that or you're leaving something because you've gotten a better offer from somebody who maybe mistreated you and they feel betrayed. Okay, so you got the four of cups as to how you see yourself. This is not being sure you want an offer, should you make an offer, if you're even interested anymore, which kind of aligns with what I'm saying, right? And then you got the eight of wands sideways. I feel like you're not communicating right now. I feel like you're trying to figure out, or at least if you're communicating, you're keeping it light. Yeah, five of swords until you figure out, okay, what it is that you want to do or you figure out what's really going on around you. If there's some manipulation, you might be questioning somebody's motives. Somebody could be seeing you as manipulative, but I feel like what you're trying to do is get clarity and get a hold of a situation and how you feel about it. Okay, so that you can make, you know, a solid either ending or beginning with this Hierophant card, it feels like it could be a beginning, a beginning that maybe feels like it could be a victory with this moon card. It could also be a deepest desire. Okay. So what you've got, um, how people see you is the three of swords with the nine of wands crossed. Okay. So people feel like with this three of swords and this chariot, like you're moving away from heartbreak or like you have endured a lot of things, but you always keep going. Eight of cups, okay? Reinventing yourself. You may be leaving a situation behind that you feel no longer fits you. Nine of wands crossed. with the knight of swords i feel like you haven't gotten to the place where you've abandoned something but you you definitely feel like there's something you want to say before you let go of something or before you move forward with something okay somebody could feel like you need to say something Okay, now in your hopes and fears, you have the magician in the reverse, spirit Y. Two of cups. You may feel like you can't manifest love right now. Or that no matter how much you gave to a situation that it couldn't get up and upright. That's being clarified by the Knight of Wands. You could feel like this person can never get out of their own way. That there's a lot of love here, but they can't um, surrender the Knight of Cups energy. But the King of Wands is at the bottom of the deck with the Five of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. That could be the conflict. Okay, they may feel like well, how you envision the relationship is too structured. With the five of wands, the conflict could be between you. Okay, you want something stable. They want something exciting. Two of swords. It could be that neither one of you um, can really fully understand the other. With the five of cups and nine of swords, it leads to a lot of sleepless nights. 
and it could have led to a third party, but it feels like somebody wants victory here. And there's a tower with confusion and the star. I think something's gonna take you by surprise that somebody wants to work on something with you. Now, I'm not saying that that's what you're gonna choose to do, but this is what the energy is saying. The Three of Cups is the most likely outcome spirit. Why is that? I really feel like you got the Three of Cups with the Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands. And then the Three of Cups again. I feel like it's really both of your deepest desire, but there's always been a blockage, okay? And it's that Knight of Wands energy, okay? And that's why it feels like there's some type of decision that you're going to be having to make and you're unsure if you should venture into this because in the past, it feels like there was somebody else and now you don't trust that this person can be either faithful or that they can continue because it feels like they've gone through some transformation but you might not be sure of this transformation or you might not think it lasts okay now you have the four of pentacles as the overall energy spirit why is that with the star and the hierophant and the ace of wands and the wheel of fortune and the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles okay so the four of pentacles here i feel like you're holding back from something okay but i feel like somebody feels very drawn to you you had that joyful muse. You could also be drawn to something in your career. But I feel like somebody sees you as a star. Okay, Hierophant. I feel strongly that this person wants commitment with Taurus, okay? Ace of Wands. They're very passionate about it too. Okay, they feel like they've changed their perspective on this situation with the wheel of fortune but you also have changed your perspective because you're showing up as the nine of pentacles and the queen of swords so i feel like you're really questioning this person's motives okay i feel like it burdens you okay you have justice here you could be dealing with um a libra but i feel like somebody wants to bring in some type of balance because they feel um bound to you okay this the energy of codependency but it's like a really strong connection because you got the devil and the lovers with the fools like this person's completely you are this person's muse okay and they see you as the queen of cups so it's like all of a sudden this person has gotten some type of clarity about who you are and what they want with you but it feels like it could be a touch too late. Let's see what else Spirit wants to tell us about this situation. Spirit, can you show me? Anything else? Okay, so you have here coffin, great fortune, and courtship. So I feel like some type of ending or ending of a chapter has given you some clarity, okay? Um, we're going to uh, clarify. Spirit Coffin. Why is Coffin here? I feel like this person could have done something that you felt was questionable. I feel like this is energy of the past. I feel like uh, they could have shown themselves to be unreliable or suspect in some way. You have child services out here, hide at risk of being taken away, 
reporting something, neglect, abuse. Okay, it doesn't have to necessarily be a child, although it could be. Um, but for many of you, it's like you don't trust this person's judgment. And I feel like you have to sever a relationship. For some of y'all, I'm going to keep it a buck. You know, watch watch who you have around your children. I feel like either way, whatever this person did, they could have had a child with somebody else. They could have um, been dating someone who was younger than them or who you feel, you know, they could be an adult, but you like, you know, I'm not digging like you could feel like there was something exploitive about this. But either way, I feel like you are the grudge holder here. Okay, you have impersonated or wants to be you, acts like you, dresses like you. I feel like also this person could have tried to replace you with somebody. Um, I feel like it was a poor um, replacement. I feel like they've recognized that. I feel like if they were dating somebody that resembled you or whatever, they've also become the grudge holder against them. It's like they're resentful that they don't meet up to what the perception they have of you is okay so great fortune spirit why is that bad habits drug addict uh, addictions toxicities fishing for comments okay so they could have went towards somebody who maybe had more um had more than you um, because it fed some type of addiction, whether this was, you know, a narcissistic addiction for needing attention or whatever. Okay. And then the person who was offering that to them, that could have been why, because they needed attention. But I feel like this person made a poor choice and it could have been behind money. Okay. Okay photo proof getting evidence you could have came across something that was the final straw now this courtship spirit i felt like something turned over yeah courtship screenshots getting evidence proof facts now you could have left somebody because they did some bullshit and then now they're trying to Say, well, I think you're dating somebody, okay? So um, running, chasing, right? So this is also the energy of the chaser becomes the runner. Or the runner becomes the chaser, however it's said. Bad karma, okay? I feel like this person, they might have always felt you would be there. I feel like they might have done something that stepped over the line, I feel like you pull away from somebody and I feel like they instinctually want to come after you. They may have uh, gotten some type of download about why they betrayed you, maybe made them look at themselves in some ways. The energy that I'm getting. Spirit, can you show me what my Torian gang gang should be working on for the month of December? You got regret, discipline, and forgiveness, okay? I feel like there's probably someone around you who is uh, saying they regret their actions. I feel like you might be feeling you regret dealing with this person, or you could have regret some of the choices you made in response or in collaboration with this person. You got discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. I feel like you're trying to put up healthy boundaries for yourself. Okay, and then you got forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring um, resentment blocks the flow of love. Okay, and you could be with that, you know, joyful muse deciding that you don't want to give any more energy to this. Okay, we're going to get a love and romance just to check it out. Spirit, can you show me what's the most likely outcome? Thank you. Got soulmate at the bottom of the deck. And let me just say, if this person did something to your kids, fuck them, okay? Don't take their ass back. Like, full stop. Okay, if this person was just acting childish, 
they have some fucked up ways about them, maybe stemming from their old childhood. And maybe if you want to consider that, you can. But if this is anything to do with actual neglect of a child, fuck them. Okay? We got playfulness here, spirit. Playfulness with stand by me and fun times. I feel like this person wants to reinvent something with you, as I stated before. I feel like you're unsure about doing that for whatever, for whatever reasons. Codependency and cleanse. Okay, I feel like there could be some heavy conversations about accountability, okay, and about everybody's own perspective in the reasonings for behaving in certain ways and responding in certain ways because it takes two, right? So you have true love with proposal. I do feel like there is a big question on the table. It doesn't necessarily have to be marriage, but it could be like, can we move in together? Can we take this to a next level? It's something big, okay? And then you have very soon giving a gift. Shyness, there could be somebody afraid to pop the question because they don't know how you're going to respond, whether that question is moving together, whatever the case may be. And it's coming out with children and past life, okay? So you might have had a child with this person. You might feel like, you know, the boat has sailed on this, but this person is really coming in, okay? And then Cupid, they've been struck by the bow, okay? And then take my hand, okay? Passion is here too, but I do feel like, um, you know, you might have met somebody, okay? And then you're under divine protection with argument. And it feels like the energy has changed. It feels like in the past, you might have been very felt that your partner was not all the way committed and was concerned about people being around your partner or what they were doing. And I feel like because there's the energy of you not knowing if you want to move forward with this person or not, I feel like they're very apprehensive about people being around you. Okay, so um, I am going to head over to the extended um, where I'm going to take a look at what your person uh, really feels for you, what their true intentions are, what is it that they can't see, what they're currently experiencing, and the most likely outcome. If you're interested in that, you can follow me over to Patreon. If this is where we part ways, I'd just like to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt that I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment, as I'd love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.